Base Titanium is Kenya's um, first large-scale mining operation. We mine three minerals here, ilmenite, rutile and zircon. Ilmenite and rutile are your two titanium oxide products. And zircon is a third product, a zirconite, but um, occurs concurrently in the ore body here. We mine using a hydraulic mining method, effectively a high-powered hose um, that is aimed at the ore body. It breaks it down into a slurry, which is pumped back to a processing plant. Our first role, our first job, um, is to separate out the things that we do want, the minerals, from the stuff that we don't want. And we and we do that we do that um, a couple of ways. First byproduct is we we effectively uh, take it up up to height, and we run it through a series of spirals using water and gravity, and the minerals, which are classified as heavy mineral sands. Um, because they're heavier, they have a higher density, they spin closer to the centre of the spiral and they throw out the things that we don't want. Now the things that we don't want are clay and beach sand. And those two things, um, the clay gets stored in a tailings facility um, and the sand is, the beach sand is being used to fill back in the hole as part of our re rehabilitation process. A huge focus for the organisation has been on uh, rehabilitation and what happens next. Um, to all this land. So rehabilitation is obviously a, um, it's a core requirement, it's a responsibility of, of the company to ensure that the land's rehabilitated. Um, and that work's ongoing. There's a number of components to it. The first part is to backfill um, the area that was previously mined. Um, and we've got a number of different systems that we're using here on the mine site. Um, but ultimately, you fill in the hole, um, you shape the land, you add a water retention layer to ensure that um, it can hold its water really well. And then you bring back the topsoil. So the topsoil had previously been removed and stored. You bring back the topsoil um, and then you start planting. The first stage of planting is to plant um, grasses to really knit um, the rehabbed areas back together. And that prevents erosion and runoff during, during the rainy season. Um, and then we plant things like um, legumes, chickpeas and those sorts of things and plough them back into the soil to really um, add the nutrients back. This used to be subsistence farming areas, um, very small scale holdings. And since BASE has been on board and with the development of the project, we've brought considerable infrastructure into the area. There's a road um, that links um, the inland area to the highway. Um, there's power um, with a, a power line and a substation. Um, and there's water, which is which is another big one with the construction of, of bases in Kurumutsi Dam. And let's not forget the buildings, the workshops, um, even the training center down here where we are um, at the moment. These are all assets that can be utilized for what comes next. What 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 we do, not what we do, but what the government chooses to do, what the community and the county chooses to do next with the land. Well, the Pavi Farmers Cooperative Society uh, is a cooperative society which was started by uh, we, uh, we started out of uh, Best Titanium's livelihood project. So it was started as an exit plan uh, when Best leaves or when the mining operations are uh, uh, is over, uh, then farmers uh, will continue the livelihood projects which Best Titanium is conducting on them uh, through this cooperative society. So the Cooperative Society was actually registered on uh, 21st March uh, 2016, but uh, officially operations started in 2017, January. That is when I was employed as the manager for this Cooperative Society. Uh, by then I was the only employee, but currently the employees are now 21. Uh, most of them, uh, the, all the payroll for the 20 employees is supported by Best Titanium. Employees from Kwale County account for 70% of our workforce. Okay, so a huge effort has been made to ensure that local residents from Kwale have been prioritised for those jobs. Another 29% um, are Kenyans more broadly, where we haven't been able to identify the uh, the skills and experience in Kwale, and we've had to go out to other parts of Kenya. Um, and we've got um, just 1% of our workforce is expatriate at this point in time. So I've learned a lot, and I think. Uh, the different things that we have been able to see, we will have to support the CEO as well as members of the board to see how 
this can be promoted for national development. Thank you very much. I am Rembo Limutiso, the alternate to the PS, Petroleum and Mining. This being a project within our ministry, we have worked with it since inception to this far, and we are happy to see how it has progressed. And we look upon the Vision 2030 board to assist and facilitate the next moves by the company to get new project areas. Thank you. We've spent the day here at uh, Base Titanium, and uh, for, for many of us here in this trip, I think uh, it's the first time we've seen a mining operation uh, going on, and it's very, very impressive. Uh, what's particularly impressive, I think, is the rehabilitation and the environmental issues, uh, so that we're not left with ugly scars in the, in the countryside, and we are impressed by the work you're doing on beautification and tree planting and rehabilitation of the used-up areas. Projects employs about a thousand people every month and uh, in Kenya the typical multiply I think is seven uh, because of COVID I think all of us can safely multiply that by two <laughs> so I think we're looking at uh, a lot of people who are supported by this uh, initiative and uh, in these hard times uh, I think it's in our interest it's our national interest to see whether we can uh, maintain all the employment we're able to get uh, from anywhere um, the board is a uh, vision delivery board is uh, looking into the issues uh, which have been raised, uh, requests for extension and maybe even um, moving to new areas. And uh, as you know, the coastal belt is uh, happening uh, all the way from uh, Lunga Lunga down here all the way to Lamu. And we're going to see how we are, what we can do uh, to help keep these jobs in this country. So for now, it's uh, Karibuni Sana. Thank you very much. We'll be coming to see whether the trees have grown and whether, and whether in the places you're finished mining, there's no sign that you were there which is a desired outcome. Yeah.